Games Workshop showed off some pictures of the new Orc Boys brews yesterday, and if you do want to build a horde of boys with these new aesthetics, you're really going to struggle to give them all shooters. Hello and welcome back to Warspex Tactics for a quick look at the new Orc Boys sprue, which appears to have caused quite a bit of indignation online over the past 24 hours. I'm a little bit late to talking about this one, it has been covered by quite a few other people both on and off YouTube, but I thought it was worth talking about just because it's really quite disappointing for some really nice new models after they had so much crazy customization in kits like the Commandos. The update was posted on Warhammer Community yesterday, basically showing off the contents of the new Orc Combat Patrol box, and all of the models I think really do look quite nice indeed. I do quite like this reimagining of the Orc Boys, perhaps a little bit chunkier and more dangerous looking than their previous incarnation. I have to admit though, this little caption seemed a little bit disingenuous at best, with the description being you'll get enough bits to arm them with a selection of shooters, sluggers and choppers, plus of course guns with extra dacker and even killier weapons for the knob. None of that's technically wrong, but what they failed to mention but is very obvious from the sprues is that all of the standard boys don't actually get to pick whether they have a slugger and chopper or a shooter, you just simply get a few of each, and it's not possible to equip the entire mob in one way just from getting this box. Here's a picture of the sprue itself, and if you take a careful look at the components, it really shows that there's very few extra bits or things that you can swap around or customise. Basically you get 10 essentially monoposed boys, albeit very nicely sculpted models, and they're either set as sluggers or choppers, and rather than the previous 11, you now get 10. First up you have a knob armed with either a big chopper or a power claw, 5 orcs with sluggers and choppers, 3 orcs with shooters, then one that sets as a heavy weapon, either a big shooter or a rocket launcher. On the orc datasheet in the codex you can freely mix and match choppers and shooters if you want to, though in terms of actual orc army lists I've very rarely seen anyone bothering to do so, just for building an efficient list you generally want to go down the one option or the other, either gearing them up for melee or range, and then playing them largely with that strategy in mind. I think of all things that people were expecting when a new orc boys kit came out, it certainly wouldn't have been that there's no longer the option to choose between the two, and if you decided that you wanted an entire squad of shooter boys with the new sculpts, you'd have to buy no less than 10 boxes of this, and even then a lot of your models will be looking very similar to each other. I guess you could do a bit of customization to try and make the big shooter into more like a standard shooter size, but it's still not particularly great. On top of that, with the old kit there was the option to build a 10 boys and a knob, so it meant that each extra box would allow you to fill out another 10 models, even if you're adding them to the same squad. As best I can tell, there doesn't appear to be an option to trade out the knob for a standard boy, but if anyone's seen anything on the sprues that I've missed, then feel free to correct me. Also being locked into the heavy weapons is kind of a pain. In general, if I were running boys, I wouldn't want to take either the big shooter or the rocket launcher. I think I'd largely just go all in on the melee choppers at the moment. I suppose if you really didn't want to fill them, the best way might be to save a few rocket boys, and they could maybe make up some numbers in a tank buster squad or something. Just not having that flexibility there is just really quite unhelpful, and for me it really does diminish the value of the combat patrol box by quite a bit. If you really don't care what your orcs are armed with too much, I guess it's not that bad, it will still get you plenty of green skins on the table, but if you're trying to build towards any sort of slightly optimised orc army, then it's much less helpful than the old boys kit. Another criticism I've seen levelled at them is that they're a bit monopose. Orcs have often been hailed by Games Workshop as the army of customization. I remember reading hobby articles from them in the past about the fun of changing and converting a whole bunch of boys within the army so you don't get any two the same. I'm certainly not saying that you can't do that with these, though you will just need some parts from elsewhere, as you're not going to end up with virtually any spares whatsoever from this kit. I guess you can have some different heads on the same bodies and mix it around from one kit to the next, but just for sheer variety, I can't help but think that the old boys kit was just a bit more fun. I guess it's kind of the design tension between making a model that looks really cohesive, say like it's holding a gun and aiming it, as opposed to making him a bit more generic and having the option to have a slugger and chopper in his hands as well. I guess it might be a bit harder to make them look as good doing both, but it still does take a bit out of the variety, particularly when you don't get a whole heap of spare parts like you did with the old kit. I guess the biggest question is whether or not this new kit will represent the new orcs in their final form, or whether Games Workshop might be brewing up a bit more of an extensive option for a single kit release. I think if I had to guess, I would imagine that this will be the same kit that they release individually. It just feels a little bit similar to the reimagining of the Necron Warriors, a fairly basic and functional kit, but I guess at least one that allows you to equip the squad in two different ways, and also gave you some head swaps. I'd guess that they might release this individually at some point, 
though I guess it's not totally impossible that Games Workshop does come out with a full multi-part plastic kit for boys, though I think it seems a bit unlikely as they haven't shown them off up to now. Also quite interestingly, the older boys kit is still on sale, and I guess Games Workshop might be selling the two alongside for a while, so people can still get their hands on the full loadout and options. I guess that's not the worst solution in the world, but I have to admit the new ones do look a little bit different compared with the old ones. Side by side they might just look a little bit off next to each other, though I'm not sure how much of a big deal it would really be on the tabletop. I'm not sure it's the worst to have some very slightly different sized green skins in a big howling mob next to each other. Orcs are known to come in different sizes, depending on how much fighting they've done. So anyway, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Don't get me wrong, I do like the new models, really quite cool sculpts, but it just seems like real wasted potential not to give people enough parts to build the mobs that they want to. If you've enjoyed the video and you'd like to stay up to date with Games Workshop's news and releases, feel free to subscribe to Allspets Tactics, where I'll certainly keep the regular 40k related videos coming. Finally, if you have been enjoying these videos quite a lot and you'd like to help support the channel, I would just like to mention the Allspets Tactics Patreon page, which is down in the video description below. Making all this content does take a fair amount of time, and if you are enjoying regularly, then any support is massively appreciated. Channel patrons do get a few advantages, seeing certain videos early, regular votes to see what sort of things happen next on the channel, and automatic entry into the regular prize giveaways with a chance to win some really big model kits each month. If any of that sounds good to you, or you'd just like to help support, then the link is down in the video description. In any case, an absolutely massive thank you for listening, and I'll hope to see you guys next time.